Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the most of the We are here in the garage with the International Base Star 5600 DS and I've got an uh, extended trailer, I think, because the task that we want to do is, uh, it says, water room 6, which is here, and then there's a resting warehouse, which has uh, packet sands, which we need to do them. Uh, metal roll, which we need uh, one. What do we need? We need one. And then we need medium plank. Sorry, long plank, which we need one. So that will give us one consumable. And then on top of that, it needs two packet sand, which is also here. So, we go ahead and we start tracking this. And then come all the way across bad accident, go this way, load up one metal roll, one metal uh, beam, and two packets and come this way, deliver two packets and go all the way here, go here, get one all the plank and go all the way out. <coughs> that way uh, we'll go I will tell you where we we'll go. That way we will go here. Make the consumable, load the consumable, go there, go back to the water tower, and uh, yep, then we did that. So, um, that's the plan. That is the, actually the plan. It's a long drive, but then again, I have this idiot of a truck, which I hate. Because the heat consumption is actually very stupid. Doesn't have power, doesn't have anything. And I haven't used this one, so I thought we will use this one. And on top of this stupid truck, we're gonna have an even stupid trailer. Somebody's gonna sell this someday. For now, I think our task is to go to the burnt uh, forest map, deliver back of sand, and bring the rest of the material for the consumable. In there. Then take the consumable, leave the trailer, and go back and get over there. Go on some good singular consumable. Now, I'm actually thinking that we may get over the consumable with the new, uh, this is new Zix. It has a lot of slot trailer. And, uh, we're not going to use it anyway, or the water all for that matter. Because it is also stupid. So we can actually do this with two trucks. Hmm. Most of the journey is on tarmac, so I wouldn't worry about it. And then if I reach the uh, very end, and all I need to do is do one consume, and that shouldn't be a problem. Hmm. That has got me ticking. Anyway, this thing is using what, about 10 minutes on every drive. So that gives us a total of 28 minutes of drive, which uh, in which we need to go over the packet sand and bring back the material for consumer. Then I think we need to walk out and deliver it. That way we use two super trucks in one task. And then that accident that uh, that accident is where you have to recover two trucks and then we pair them. Uh, that definitely has to be done with the six plus a service trailer because uh, uh, we need fuel and we need uh, a lot of spare parts. So I'm thinking I'm take a six and a separate fuel tanker. Go there, refill the repair, and then the little come back, and then we will repair and clear the other one, and then the tank will be too much. Or will that be too much to ask? All we can do is with a Phoenix. I like Phoenix. Hmm, now I'm confused. 
because I know if we have to double two drugs and we bear two drugs, a lot of service spare points are made. Now, all the only drug I know that is capable of such uh, carrying such service. Let's take the as a truck that is capable of carrying such spare points, we don't need these eggs. And then spare fuel also, this eggs has about, I think about 500, 600 liters. Comes in a lot. Or I could drive the 750 with me. That will have some fuel and some spare points because definitely, uh, I think, I think that the Zix is incapable of doing the main thing straight. Actually, can be maintenance with the maintenance add-on, or a service with the maintenance add-on, if that is possible. Cool. So you go here, start right way. You can see we've already used that almost 50 fuel just coming to this map. This gives you an idea of how stupid this truck is. Considering that it has 10 years driving and it's just driving and driving and driving, it's just stupid. Also, because it's driving, uh, it's on uh, off road tires, I don't have too much grip on tarmac, which means I have to be careful when going downhill, otherwise, this thing will flip. And <clears throat> if that happens, but I'm going to flip it. Come on, pick up some speed. Annoyingly, unsurprisingly, this is the best you can do. I don't know if this truck exists, this truck exists in real life or not. But if that's in the future dungeon is that stupid, then I think this is a useless part. It's amazing for people who a minute and just driving in the rear wheel drive now for few So imagine what happens when I switch on all the but It's gonna go 30 liters in like It's insane and the truck is gonna be unloaded. Just want a skill competition, sacrificing three points of suspension. What is it? Should have stopped at the sawmill first. But then again, I need to deliver back with sands as well. So I was thinking that I will deliver back with sand and we've done that. Here is a P12. Hello. There's a dude standing here for god knows how many mites. This is really impatient. Waiting for me to get done with all of this so I can finally drive it home.
Wait, come on. 17, 18 liters a minute. Almost 20 liters a minute just for the railway ride. You cannot pass for... <laughs> Actually, this is the worst fuel compared to it. cannot ask for uh, a more... What's the word? I mean, there, there's nothing... There's no super little or worst. This is the worst for you can So this is the reason why we do not drive some of these trucks. We have abandoned them because they are just stupid and unworthy of being... Uh, okay. We have to go here. I'm not there, so yeah. That just happened. Okay. I'm gonna check. Then completely riding the wrong way. Like I do usually if I don't put markers. But okay. I don't improve, neither does this truck's fuel economy. <laughs> so I guess we're destined to be there. This stupid truck in my bad navigation. It only serves me well. I thought it was this way, in this way and then in. And then I'll have to cross this again if I'm going to at all. And I've been complaining about the food consumption ever since we started. Now I should complain about my bad navigation states. So busy complaining about bad fuel economy of the truck that I forgot what happened. And now I'm struggling to get where actually I have to go. Please save me. I have to drop the driving water on. Hmm. Because this cannot come back, definitely does not have enough food. And now that I am asking you to do this, Definitely gonna run out of fuel. Off road driving pro tip do not use all wheel drive, just use rear wheel drive and high wheel. Sometimes in situations you will occasionally need to switch on or will drive like I think I will now. Yeah. But then for the most part you can just leave it in your wheel drive with the switch to high gear. Uh, if you have an off-road gearbox, this is an off-road gearbox. If you run at one special, then that's even better. At least you get some speed out of it. Oh, 
I am 100% going to avoid this. Oh, I don't Yet I cannot avoid it. So that is that house we actually made it halfway. I'm not sure how we're gonna do this uh, sawmill run. That's going to be a new dance. So this is a Kuru cargo management. I mean, let's first put a metal beam here and then put uh, a metal roll. Then on the trailer, you want packet sand and packet sand. That's the configuration of the cargo management. I can turn this. First of all, I need to mark where I need to go. So I go this way, this way, then this way, then this way, this way, this way, this way here. Go out that way, this way, then go here. Deliver packet sand. Go back this way. All the way here, then this way, here, 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 out, here, out, and then back. So that's all. Now we have 127 liters of fuel to get, which honestly is very dicey. Knowing the truck that I'm driving, I should give up now. There, uh, from here on, here onwards. High gear and rear wheel drive is accommodated. That we will be using for the most part. If I don't flip this truck, that is. Or do that, trying to save on fuel. Let's just focus on getting uh, the wooden planks and getting out of the map. First, let alone going to the crafting zone and crafting consumable and coming back, that is definitely not going to happen in 115 meters of fuel. I will have to refuel this and I will have to refuel this sooner than I know not a little bit fuel here put some fuel in it this speed work definitely has some fuel I'm gonna require it so fuel 180 yes to 170 okay all the way off. Yeah, let's go. Am I confident enough that this truck can make it back? No. Am I confident enough that this truck can make it to the crafted zone? You can to make one consumable? Uh, 
high without you. And I wonder in that this truck is really doing anything at all. That would be yes. But in my country that this truck is capable of doing any mission on its own. That is definitely a no. I'm just about to say that I'm still in fourth gear, which means I have to switch to high gear soon. And it shifts to first. I don't know why I'm driving this, I hate it. But actually, hate is a strong word. I don't like this truck at all. It is a stupid truck. So let's go like this. So we can turn around and come back. So we come here, we go to car management, and we go one, two, back at sand. Which then means that, uh, hello. So which then means that the trailer is now empty. Look at the weather. It's cool, 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 cool. Okay. So, we're done delivering the packet sand, all we want to do is now go get back in zero. If I would have known, I would have given the warthog in the first place to at least a crafting room. Now, put this in our auto view, our show, and let's hope it does good. No, it won't be out of the heart. Go for the climb. Actually, I can do the climb. I will be right as well, but I won't. I actually have a uh, uh, Cody Axe 70 that I have to use as well. I can use that to go over there. Listen. I can use it to do one thing zero the way. You wanna go, wanna go in? No, not here. going in here, right? Yes. Now switch to high gear. Okay, whatever that was. Oh, swamp. What about it? Uh, this is not... Uh, it's not been the swamp, it's okay. It's a shallow one. And the uh, worst truck than this. Actually, there are the worst truck than this. Better trucks than this have crossed it. So we are hopeful that this will also. 29 meters away, that is just. That is a suicidal, actually. I want to kill myself. That I'm not going to because someone has to finish this. The worst bit of this all is to then reverse this thing, which is a real pain. So, in 110 liters of fuel, I think, I think, in a uh, wind panel, long, long. Time. A hundred and a hundred and ninety of you. I think we may actually be able to make it to the gate. 
and through the coffee room. And there is more fuel in the GMC if I remember correctly. So you can take the fuel from the GMC. Yes, we can take the fuel from the GMC, it's not going to be needed. 92 liters, yes, thank you. So that way, we might end up bringing this thing back. It just has to load one cargo and come back. And then from here onward, it's just a straight up drive. So I think, uh, yes, we might bring this to the truck back. Instead of using what all those are even more stupid than this. Okay, we're gonna use all these guys here. Just for a little bit. Let's see if a red wheel drive only can cope with this. Anyway, I'm using 20 liters a minute. But yes, Tarmac will follow, so hope is still alive. Now, all the way downhill, we can just take it in order. Hopefully, this thing can survive. Let's see the thing sits back to first gear for no reason at all. So, out, and then we have to come back here, again. Skip, go, craft, consumable, and come back. This, uh, these two are the freight liners, by the way. Ten liters. That is going to give me sixteen. Uh, sixteen minutes. I think sixteen minutes is enough for me to go from here to the delivery point and the level one consumable. I can. I am actually feeling pretty, pretty confident that we may be able to finish this with uh, this uh, task with this truck as super as it may be. And we. And considering the fact that we've already refueled it twice, it may still make it. Still, there is still, it's at uh, the bottom of my list. Scouts are better. Not actually tracking anything. That's why there is uh, no markers. But I know that seven pieces of cargo is required to construct one consumable, which is then one piece of cargo. Is 
his body is also here, which means we can refuel it again. So we want to give it one, 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 then craft that, and then load this. Wow. Talk about consistency. Every phase in SnowRunner, this sides that it needs it's uh, it needs whatever it decides that okay you know i need this many materials for said whatever so consumable before construction was just a one wooden plank and one service part or something like that and now in phase nine consumable construction is seven pieces of problem and where did, it, where did all of that go we need to ask you because we don't need it. And then one forty fuel. We give a one piece of cargo. We could have uh, gotten back at sand now as well. But then I don't want to drive all the way to the warehouse. We've already driven there. We've already got any stuff. Actually we can go get uh, metal beam and metal rolls from the railway station as well. But I've already done it, and then who's going to use that metal beam and metal on the in the warehouse? So yeah, that's why we did what we did. Ten minutes of drive to reach uh, the water boom. I think it is possible. We may run out of fuel at the end, but who cares? We may just leave it in the burning fires and <laughs> burn forest <laughs> once they start in the uh, this, this is... Yeah, this is so bad. Second time to go in force now. Skip, skip, skip. One piece of cargo, one stupid fucking green color. That's gonna be a thumbnail. One star of cargo loaded. Because actually, it is a said star of cargo. That is keeping the mission from completion. That was sand was easy, we delivered it already. <laughs> Shocking. International low star 1700s rescue mission. <laughs> a task, thank you. A hurtful loss. And I'm hurting driving this thing. Okay, so we go here and. Uh, start this. Consumable is only by now. Actually, there's a smart hour in there. Go in. It's this place. So, maybe closer than I'm thinking. And so now, how do we do it? If we start to starts to make sense. And uh, we must hope that we may yet finish this with the uh, International Pay Star 5600 TS. Yes, what does TS stands for? Torture Severe Should be ST Severe Torture. But okay, Russian language. Russian English Torture Severe is also accepted. Yeah, 
this is where we put this on fire. I think we're gonna put the oil well on just for this last bit. Let the truck enjoy. There we are, and done. The water room 6 is complete, so it's great. Another one's up. And we deserve this award. 500 experience and 4500 for competition. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. That's how you can do water room 5. Thank, uh, I hope you like this one today. Please like, share, like, comment, subscribe, channel if you haven't already. I personally enjoyed the video. If you made it far, thank you so much. I will see you in the next one.